Hey there guys and welcome back and as you can see I backed ourselves off camera from the Crescent Chronicles to save some time. So let's actually go up here because I actually um had a failed recording kind of uh, quality reasons because I failed to read right somehow. I, I, I knew the, what the word was, I was just stuttering over words for some reason. So let's see if we can actually get this done right. We didn't find anything special over here. I had a hard time passing the place the first time. I'm sorry, I made you go down without considering the consequences. Don't worry about it, I was able to climb back up. Anyway, what is this facility for? I want to know too, how come we can only go up? I don't have time to go into detail, so I'll give you the quickest explanation. The Frozen Eye is designed to stop the backflow of the song magic energy known as symphonic energy. When this tower was fully functional, the source of the song magic was controlled from above Platina. The energy it released was really strong, so if it backflowed, the tower would be destroyed. The frozen eye was created using a semiconductor called Aerodol Element to stop the backflow. Its official name is the Adderlberg Equilibrium um, Point, something like that. Did anyone understand that? Sure. Don't worry, none of that matters anyway. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at explaining things. I'm kind of funny though, um, there is such thing as energy backflow um, from an alternator, because I used to go to um, Votech for a diesel, right? And you could actually um, get backflow from an alternator. But they actually have diodes in there that stop the energy from backflowing. And I know it's kind of useless information, but I guess what I'm getting at, maybe the frozen eye is like an alternator? Oh yeah, I better bring up the map to make sure I'm going the right way. Alright, so now I go in here. I don't know if this is the right order, but this is how I got um, a few things triggered. There's nothing here. I thought we'll find something here. Why? I only remember constantly fighting in this place. <laughs> That's because we have to fight viruses here so often. But why is that? It's the perfect place for Mir and her viruses. The official name of this place is the Symphonic Reactor. It is the Symphonic Power Relay Station. Symphonic power lines spread throughout the entire tower. Just like blood vessels in people. The main artery is connected directly into the Symphonic Reactor. And it is where symphonic energy and the actual world connect. That's why viruses are always here. They can quickly manifest into physical form and easily travel to any point in the tower from here. Originally, it was designed for the military's high-speed communication network. It was never made for good intentions. I get it. Really? Yeah, I get that I'll never understand anything about how this crazy tower works. Ah, uh, of course. I knew you wouldn't understand. So let's get ourselves out of here. I'm probably going to make a jump. Okay, guys, and we're back. So now I believe we have to go down... To Nemo? Yeah, let's check Nemo out. And I'm gonna go to the church. I should stop by and ask here. Hold on. Nothing. 
While I was uh, inside, I thought we should check Falcon's Claw, or the Temple of Alemia, too. You're right, those are also ancient ruins, so we might be able to find something there. Great. Okay guys, and we're back, and let's actually go into the last part. This is... Of the many temples of Alemia, this is the largest one. It's called the Neo Temple of Alemia. I don't know that there were that many temples of Alemia. Yes, there were many in the past. The legends of the Trio of Alemia have been popular for a long time. And to think that they were trying to use this sacred church to revive Mir. False. I'll never forgive him. Not to mention, there was a time when Mir was worshipped as this, I mean, at this temple. People thought that she was the reincarnation of the Tree of Alemia. Long ago, Mir was very helpful to humans. What? Mir wasn't always bad? No. Moreover, without Mir, the previous civilization wouldn't have pros prospered. The people knew it. So they enshrined Mir at the Temple of Alemia. If people used to worship Mir, why did she turn her back at them? She was worshipped as a goddess, but in reality, she was treated poorly. You're too kind, so you might not be able to understand it. The world was distorted by the weakness of humans. Do you still want to know what happened while Mir was still in power? Yes, of course. There was a time when humans and Ravetails lived together in harmony. But as the Ravetails population began to grow, the humans began to worry. They feared that the Ravetails may become too powerful and try to rule the world. So the humans decided it was best to dominate them, forcing them into servitude. And that was the world that Mir was born into. As one who only follows orders, she had no consciousness. But Mir began to develop her own will. She felt angry towards the humans for their treatment of her kind. Mir revolted against them and led other Ravetails to war. And that was the War of the Ravetails, where half the world was destroyed and 70% of the population was lost. Since then, her hatred towards the humans kept growing. Now she wants to exterminate all humans. As her revenge against those who created her that way. And abused her ever, ever since. So that's what happened. Alright, so now we're going to jump ourselves out of here. Okay guys, and we're out. And let's actually leave this place. Now I think... I think we need to find ourselves, oops, wrong way. I 
think we need to find ourselves to Firefly Alley, and I believe we have to talk to the Temba headquarters. I you know, pretty much. The head honcho there. This is Cushay, director of the Flying Peace Project. May I see President Ayano? One moment, please. Thank you for waiting. Please come this way. Thank you for coming, Liner. I'm sorry I've been out so often. I've been busy searching a new place along the tower. New place? It's actually really close to Nemo. Anyway, I'm so sorry about board. I'll like to apologize again. There's no need for that. I've heard good things about Temba lately. Thank you, but we still haven't discovered all of board's schemes. Especially at the facility where the hexagonal plate collapsed. I'm sure most of the, his research data was lost. Hexagonal plate. Sounds like we have... We, I mean, sounds like we can find some valuable data there. That's what I've been doing lately. Madam President, can you give us clearance to search the hexagonal plate? Since that area is filled with top secret information, I'm not supposed to give outsiders permission to be there. But for now, I mean for you, I'll allow it. Thank you very much. Let's hurry to the hexagonal plate. Yeah, that's a kind of what I've been doing. I've just been somehow misreading crap, and it's and it's not even misreading. I'm not even reading it. It's just I just miss say stuff right now. I don't know why talking seems to be really bad lately. Um, hexagonal plate. There we go. When this plate fell, it was bad news for everybody. Temba's facility collapsed, and it created the storm. I felt sorry for Temba, but I deplore the research they conducted here. Many atrocities that Bohr, I mean Board committed remained undiscovered. You're right. We better check it out. So let's go over here since I know where to go. And we miraculously got into a battle before we could talk to these guys. Activating song. And let's just run away. The president has authorized you to enter. Come on in. Still have to bash this one in too. There we go. Let's check out some things around here. Um, I could just I could just go for the what we need to, but I'm gonna actually look around. This file, the results of the Hymn Crystal Chronicle key are in. I successfully removed the song, but creating new ones has proven difficult. He was trying to make his own him crystals, and I hit X before I could actually fully read that, but I remember that from heart, I guess, so I think that worked out well. The file. This file. The efforts of the separation test on Misha are in. She remains in good health conditions. However, I haven't observed any change in her thoughts. In regards to Mirror Project, it has proven too difficult to cause separation all the way to the KC field. Was he experimenting on me too? Sure looks like it. Even if I killed him a hundred times, I still want it be enough. 
this file. Two orders of Dokoi bowls, a people's salad, and Lando for dessert. It's a lunch order. That's a lot of food. Sounds like it's Misha. This file. Once this project is complete, I won't need Foss. I'll have my Ravitails attack him. They'll make for an excellent field test. They sure didn't trust each other. Of course, they're villains. And now for the real thing here. This file. Ravitail Project Mirror. Mirror? Sounds suspicious. Project Summary. This experiment is designed to drastically increase the ability of Ravitails and to condition the Ravitails into slavery. By overriding the KC section of the Cosmosphere. I don't get it. Excuse me, may I read it? I would like to know all the details. Do you know what they're up to? Yes, I have discovered something awful. This research is very similar to what had been done to Mir in the past. During Mir's creation, a special process was tested on her. She was stripped of her own free will. From birth, they created a Rivetail without feelings or opinions. She was just a slave to the humans. What? Then Mir's... She was purposely created without free will. By doing so, conflict and doubt were eliminated, and the purity of her song magic increased dramatically. On top of that, she could never rebel against the humans. So then, Mir wouldn't have been able to disobey humans. What happened? The method they used was incomplete. Her soul space, the Cosmosphere, grew bigger as a Ravetail gets stronger. Mir's will... I mean, Mir's will was removed. But... Only at the beginning, however, they never followed up on their experiments. As she grew, her feelings also grew. And she began to hate the humans. Which led to her current state of mind. So, it was the humans who owned, I mean, it was the humans' own greed that led Mir to hate them. Unfortunately, yes. Unbelievable! Fortunately, Board's horrible project died with him. Yeah, we should destroy everything. Damn it! Does President Ayano know about this? I doubt it. If she did, she would have done something about it. Then we should let her know. Let's go to the headquarters at Firefly Alley. And let's actually go and do that. I'm going to jump ourselves out of here. Okay, guys, and we're back, and I actually took ourselves to the Firefly Alley part. We already read that, kind of. That part's the same. And also, I believe Anano apologizes again for being out. For some strange reason. I don't know why they didn't change that, or... I, I really don't know why they changed it. I'm sorry I've been out so often. How is your search for that new place coming along? We're trying out a new machine, so it's going pretty well. And thanks to our friendly relationship with the Tura tribe, we don't have to worry about being attacked by them. That's good. Say, have you been to the hexagonal plate? Yeah, actually, we discovered 
some pretty awful experiments. I see. He was doing those horrible things to Ravetails. The reason why we're strict with Ravetails is that our missions could be fatal if they aren't alert enough. They have to be on their guard to protect everyone. Some people may see that as overworking the Ravetails. But Board's experiments are unacceptable. They're absurd. At least our company policy doesn't discriminate against Ravetails. So, Crochet, have you received the report on the Type Zero airship in Patina? No, not yet. I just received word that it's finally ready to take off. Really? Then can I fly? Can it fly? I don't know. Why don't you go and see it for yourself? All right. So let's actually go and do that. And to do that, I think actually the quicker way to actually go about this one, because there's actually like two ways in. I could go to the Savonic Reactor and do it, but I believe this might be slightly faster. Only slightly, I don't think it's a big deal. There we go. Director Crochet, we figured out how to install the landing gear. I know, the president told me congratulations. We finally did it. The collaboration efforts of Temba, Patina, and the Tura tribe. We finally created the airship Grungerner. It can fly through the blast line. We proud we poured our hope and dreams into this airship. Yeah, this world is steadily uniting. Would you like to fly it now? Uh, yeah, let's fly. Of course! I knew you were going to say that. It's ready to take off. Then good luck and take care. So now we have Dragon Nest added to our world map. Oh, and we can fly past the blast line. So let's go to the world map. So there's that, then the blast plate, the observatory, Prism Garden, and Rinconator. Hmm. Let's go to the Dragon Nest, since that's added. Wow, there's some trippy stuff going on here. It's not the encoding, by the way. I never even imagined that there was an island inside the blast line. Don't tell me you want to look around it. My body's already starting to tingle. You're right. The further we go, the more damage we'll take. I'm also curious, but I don't want to walk a lot. Alright, so let's bring up our map and move forward. Oh, we got five dragon hearts. Um, before we actually go and do anything else, let's actually use Analyzer. Just in case we run into anything we need to destroy. Ooh, there's a chest. Alright. Oh yeah, let's use that. Wait, is there an up way? Oh, I actually had to use the fertilizer to progress anyway. Okay. Lock and load. Just run from this. What's up here? Oh, it's a town. 
Ooh, and there's actually a bag over here. Let me go grab that. Good install four. Okay. All right, so this is just the shop, and I guess I should buy all these. There we go. Ooh, and some powerful um crystals. All right, nice. Uh, I'll I'll make a note of that. Um, so let's go over here. All right. All right, so there's only one person that sells things here? Okay. Who entered my house without permission? Hi, I'm Liner. I'm from Patina. My name is Grazerburn. I am the ruler of the Dragon's Nest. You know, I've had so many human visitors lately. There was one who came the other day who had silver hair. Was it Luke? Excuse me, what happened to him? His airship broke down and he stayed here for a few days. Then he flew away. Oh, I almost forgot. He told me to give this to a girl with orange hair if she ever visited me. That's... It's Luke's precious toolbox. Luke, I don't expect to find any trace of you up here. Liner, can I go outside for a little while? I want to be alone. Sure. Crochet seemed surprised to find a clue about him. Oh, the other day I saw some people flying by at an incredible speed. That was probably us. Oh, right. Have you come across a dragon named Splinter? Y yeah, I beat him up. What? You defeated him? How interesting. He's been bugging me for hundreds of years. And you're telling me that you defeated him? For that long? Did I do something wrong? No, don't worry about that. We've been fighting over this island for the past several centuries. I'm glad that I won't have to fight anymore. Oh, by the way, I've been collecting precious tools since the ancient times. I have rare artifacts from the ancient civilization. To show my appreciation, I'll let you make purchases from my collection. Okay, so let's actually take a look at that. I'm going to buy these right away. Seems like I got, um, I mean, have all these. I don't think got was the word for that. So, there we go. And Misha's picks. I don't want to know what Misha's picks are, especially uh, how she acts already. Um, Let's go up over here. Is there a way over here? Wait, ooh, there's Crochet. Let's talk to her. Hey, Liner. Are we leaving already? No, not yet. I was just worried about you. Can I sit down? That's strange. You're worried about me, but you're not my boyfriend. No, but I am your friend. So shouldn't I care about you? It's like you're my big brother. I kind of like that. I just wish Luke cared about me half as much as you do. He didn't care about you? You know that toolbox? Well, I gave it to him. And he gave it back? That's just where he drew the line. So he was one of those too cool for school guys, huh? Yeah, I guess you can say that. He was always way more into machines than people. 
Once he got into some new technology, nothing else mattered. So I decided to enter his world, hoping that he'd notice me. So that's why you became an airship melder? Yep. Before Luke came around, I didn't even like airships. I was just your typical girl, graph melding missiles for fun. Typical girls can meld missiles? Oh yeah, I used to wear pretty dresses, and I even had long, beautiful hair. Really? I can't even picture you looking like a girl. Do you want me to throw you overboard, huh? No, 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 I, I was just kidding, see? <laughs> I thought I was over Luke. But every time I see something that reminds me of him, it's like, bam! And then I start to miss him. Don't worry, Crochet. You'll find someone else who's really nice. What? Liner, will you go out with me? What? Me? W well That's okay. I was just joking. It'll never work between us. Hey, that's not funny. I'm serious. You're just no good with this romance stuff. You're even worse than me. I doubt that. Hey, if I wore a dress, your ass would be knocked out. Is that so? Well then, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? Maybe I will. If I ever get the chance to. We've been here for a while. We should get going soon. Oh, Liner, thanks for worrying about me. No problem. Nothing you said really mattered, but I feel better anyway. You couldn't just leave it at that? No, she could not. Um, let's actually go over here. How do we go over there? Wait a minute, let's try this. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong spot, my bad. Let's actually go that way then. And actually, I'll save right here. So I'm going to say like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, guys, and bye, and have a wonderful day.